Namaste. I want to make a quick video about Kama Sutra. Kama Sutra, of course, is very famous as the Vedic love manual. <laughs> but actually, it's a lot more than that. It actually refers back to ancient scriptures and the ancient sages of mankind who were concerned that people should pursue the Purusharthas, four goals or aims of human life. And the first one is Kama. Huh? Everybody wants happiness. Everybody wants pleasure. Everybody wants enjoyment. But people think, <laughs> this is so crazy, people think they can figure it out all by themselves, that they don't need any instruction, Huh? that they don't need any teaching, especially any spiritual teaching about sex. But wait a minute. Sex is the most powerful thing that humans have at our disposal. After all, sex has the power to create new life. It doesn't get any more powerful than that. So this is Kundalini, the goddess present in each and every body of every sentient being. So how do we worship Kundalini? Through pleasure. And that's what Tantra is all about. That's the root of Tantra. Now, I know there are different flavors of Tantra, but I'm talking about sexual Tantra. Because that's what I learned or actually inherited from my mother. And that's what I've been practicing my whole life. And that's what brought me to enlightenment. So you should read Kama Sutra. Now, the problem with most editions of Kama Sutra is that they are censored. They uh, have all the controversial parts removed. There is only one complete edition of Kama Sutra, and that's the one by Alain Danelu. And of course, I'm going to link to it in the video description so you all can download and read it because the next few videos are going to be about Kama Sutra. <coughs> Excuse me. And especially the parts that are usually censored. What are they? <laughs> the parts that talk about the spiritual aspects of sex, and also the parts about the third gender, the third sex. Now, what is the third sex? Well, in the West, we call it LGBTIQ whatever. Uh -huh. Because it's not one sexuality, it's a whole spectrum of sexualities between cis male and cis female. That are kind of a mixture of both or a combination of both or even with something else. Huh? So these are complex and difficult subjects, but really only because the information has been withheld. So most people are unfamiliar with the background. Kama Sutra gives you the background. And I also have put another link to scriptural passages, authentic Vedic passages, mainly from Manu Smriti. Manu Smriti is famous as the law book for spiritual society. And in that law book, there is no prohibition against third sex. Gay, lesbian, bisexual, kinky, whatever. None, except for brahmanas. And since brahmanas make up less than 1% of the population, there really, practically speaking, is no prohibition at all against any kind of sexual activity or any flavor. And also the very important revelation that sexuality is determined at the time of conception. In other words, whether you have taste for the opposite sex or the same sex or something in between, huh? 
is wired into the genetics of each body. In fact, you can do a, an astrological chart at the time of conception. Uh, this is called a Garbhadhan uh, Chakra. Garbhadhan Chakra, the, the uh, chart of the seed giving. So at the time of conception, this chart reveals what the sexuality of the child is going to be. So it's not a choice. It's predetermined. It's karma coming from many previous lives, uh, yours as well as your parents. So anyway, read these things. Educate yourself. Then we can have meaningful dialogue about it. And especially those of you on the Tantra discussion group, I expect you to read these books and specifically the chapters on third gender because that's who your teacher is. Aung Tatsa. Aung Shakti Aung.